Sending paper claims. To successfully send paper claims, there's a few things has to be set up first. Number one, for each insurance company under EDI, it needs to have an EDI receiver. The EDI receiver, usually the method that you're sending or the clearing house that you're using. Normally, the EDI receiver for primary and secondary are going to be the same. I'm just showing here that it could be different, but in 99.9% .9 of practices, it's the same. You need to know how to look up this code. This code will depend on which clearinghouse you're using. This is called the CPID or payer ID. So this has to be turned on. And also the electronic has to be turned on for primary and for secondary. So if all are set up correctly, then you will go to claim management. You hit create claims. If there's any claims that need to be created, it will get created just like you did in the paper claim. Then you will hit print send. And this time I'm going to choose electronic and I'm going to choose my EDI receiver. Most people will see a few options here, maybe for bill flash for sending the statement and you know, one or two, depending on how many times you change clearing house, I'm going to use my MWC, which is the micro eyes connect and it will remember the last EDI receiver you used. You could have multiple EDI receiver depending on how many clearing house you switch from. Most people, they stick with the same clearing house. I'm going to hit OK and it's going to open what's called revenue management. Revenue management is the shell that communicates with the clearing house. If you see different names here, that means you have claims for each one. In most cases, people have only one EDI receiver and it will show up here. So this is all the claims that are ready to go out. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose check claims and you're going to pick that EDI receiver again. What it's doing now, it's scrubbing the claims. Scrubbing the claims is going to check some of the edits that you have built into the system if you miss anything obvious. So anything with green flag, it passes. Anything with the red flag, obviously fail. You could also have a yellow flag, which is usually a warning. Now to know what's wrong, you will click on the plus sign here and you go to the edits and it will tell you that this claim is missing policy number. Now notice that all the green ones, they have the checkbox for sending and all the red ones, they don't have the checkbox for sending because you don't want to send one with the red flag. You can, if you get in an error that you know it's not an error, you can force it to go out by turning it on. But in most cases, we want to find out why it's red and you don't want to keep Forcing it to go out, we want to fix what's causing the edit to fail so you can fix it once for all. Some of the errors are a little bit more sophisticated. So for example, if I check this here and I look at the edit, it's telling me that the place of service of each line mismatch. So that's why you have that. Then you have, you remember that claim that I show you that has place of service 11 and a place of service 21 that's causing an error here. And it's saying the place of service is a hospital. You need to have a hospital address. Some people, they might want to just print the report so I can print the edits here and work on it. So I can just print this and work on it. This will show me claim by claim what's wrong. For now, I'm going to hit send and I'm going to choose the same EDI receiver again. Right now, it's doing what they call the eye guide scrubbing. It's doing a second level of scrubbing. And a few things are going to happen here. It's going to separate each pair in a separate tab. It's going to give me the number of claims. It's going to tell me if it passes again or not. This is a different scrubbing. This is the eye guide. So those are only the green ones. When I'm ready to send them, it will show me here if they're clean or not. Now you don't want to have anything with the red like that. In case of that happen, again, I can print this report with all the errors in it. And here it shows me that I have 17 claims for 4507 for Aetna, one claim for Blue Cross Blue Shield and one claim for Medicare. Now, if you get an errors like that, you can hit remove field claims. So now I only have the clean one. So I have six claims for Aetna, one claim. So what happened is the ones that I remove all the field, it's not going to send it out, but you need to go back and clean it. That will have a status of fail on the claim management. You need to take care of that. So at this point, if this was a real practice, I would just hit send and by hitting send, that will take it to the clearing house and submit those claims. Depending on which clearing house you're using some clearing house you will create a file and you have to upload but you don't have to do that it will automatically send it if you use one of our integrated clearing house i hope you found that helpful click below 
for the complete Medisoft Online Academy by MicroEyes, or you should know that if you sign up for the Medisoft Cloud by MicroEyes, you will get the complete online academy at no additional charge. Also, we provide one-on-one -on -one training. Let's get your practice learning at peak efficiency. Don't compromise. Go MicroEyes.